us is the management of Indian Hotels, Puneet Chatwal, who is the managing director and CEO of the company, joining in to discuss their fourth quarter numbers. Uh, Mr. Chatwal, hi, thank you very much for joining in. You know, there was this uh, interesting report which came out a couple of uh, weeks ago comparing the hospital space with the hotel space. And I personally track the hospital space in terms of, you know, how exactly occupancies are doing. But this time round, I'm more interested in terms of the occupancies for Indian hotels. It has moved up. But are you all back to pre-COVID levels? Are you seeing the same kind of business as you did pre-COVID? Okay. I think there's a little bit of a disruption in the connection. We'll connect back to Mr. Chatwal of Indian Hotels. But nonetheless, Nigel, it seems as though there's a lot of interest in the entire hotel space and the hospital space. Absolutely. I mean, it... I, I, you know, <laughs> if you are uh, hospital space, I won't know too much. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the hotel space, I mean, if you just try to go for any kind of weekend, even if you go as close as Lanavla, you, know, you will absolutely see that things are chock-a-block, rates are sky high. And we'll post that question to Puneet as well. Uh, you know, will there be a toss-up between the ARR and occupancy? Or does he see both of them go just north from here? Hopefully not, but he's back with us. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chatwal, I hope you can hear me now. I could hear you. Thank you. Yeah, if you could start by discussing where business is currently, if you had to compare it to pre-COVID levels. Have you surpassed the level, those levels? Are you back at the best rates in probably the last four to five years? Yeah, I think we are far ahead of uh, pre-COVID-19-20. Our reported results uh, indicate a revenue increase of 29% or close to 30%. And on a like-for-like like is north of 20, or not like-for-like like growth is boosting it to 30. And we think that, uh, you know, the best is yet to come with, uh, uh, with the buoyancy of uh, G20, with the World Cup cricket ahead of us, with the return of the foreign tourist arrivals, which is still much lower than pre-COVID level. Uh, we remain optimistic also going forward on the outlook uh, for the sector in general, and Indian hotels is the largest hospitality ecosystem in particular. All right. Hi, Puneet. Uh, you know, your shareholders must be very happy with the kind of numbers that you're putting out. But uh, as a customer, you know, I'm feeling the pinch. Huh? So let's hope that things uh, cool down from here. But good for your shareholders. Let's uh, focus on international travel since you briefly mentioned that. No, Nigel, I thought <laughs> after the last two quarters, the pinch would have gone. You might have got used to it by now. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not not able to still fathom that it's... Uh, and you're saying that the best is yet to come. So I was getting a little bit nervous out there. But uh, be that as it may, let's focus on a couple of your numbers. International travel, foreign travel as a percentage of your business. How much is it right now? And uh, how far are we from pre-COVID levels out there? We are quite far uh, away from the pre-COVID level. It's been an important part of our business for our palace portfolio. You know, the palaces in Rajasthan and some of the other uh, destinations like Goa. So Goa has really been thriving on the domestic and so have the palaces in Rajasthan and Hyderabad, etc. done quite well. Uh, however, you know, the, uh, we need also the foreign tourist arrivals to go back to that 1920 and maybe with time far exceed that number. Uh, and that's why I think the best is yet to come because at some point of time, this is going to happen. It's inevitable. Okay, well, it sounds very, very tempting at this point. Palaces in Rajasthan and Goa <laughs> at this point. Uh, but Mr. Chatwal, you know, considering the bullish outlook that you're giving us, I wanted two parameters. If you've done occupancies of around 71% in this quarter, how much did, can you probably push it up to you? Or how much are you envisaging, considering that you do have uh, the Cricket World Cup, plus you have the wedding season, maybe med uh, tourism will pick up as well these three factors and what would it mean for margins for you because you've recorded one of the best margins ever 33 odd percent if i'm not mistaken what is a sustainable level see under our strategy which we called avan 2025 we have given the guidance of 33 percent margin uh, that is what we're going to sustain that we are also growing our portfolio to 300 plus hotels and have a balanced portfolio, which means 50% owned and leased and 50% driven by fee business. 
that 50% own provides the positive operating leverage in an upcycle and the 50% fee driven business provides the increase in percentage of margins because of the management fees coming in so i think the combination of that has worked well for us this is a guidance we started giving 5 years ago hmm. we were partially derailed by covid but uh you know the brand scape has uh, changed has evolved the business model has changed and, and has evolved now to your point on occupancy 70% and above is a very good occupancy level in order to get the pricing right and with our diversified brand scape but also diversified landscape of uh, resort hotels and business hotels i think uh, we have been in a very good position to uh price our uh, portfolio uh efficiently and drive also rates up and when the rates go up the bottom line obviously increases mm-hmm. because the flow through is larger mm. all right apneet uh, j- uh, the margin number that you gave you are given a 2025 guidance of around 33% you are almost there do you think you hit that in this year yeah because i think it's not like you wait till 25 to do that our yes. uh, our focus will remain on the diversification of the top line and still keep driving 33% margin so uh, that itself shows that our guidance was not uh, unrealistic and very you know uh, very much uh, in the future so idea is to keep growing the top line keep diversifying the top line so that in good and in bad times your mm. top line is diversified enough to keep driving uh the bottom line all right uh, punit uh, you know from my end one final question then crock what's happening you know if you're saying rates are going to go up occupancy is going to go up i'm hoping that comes at least on the fuel cost i save a little bit right on the tra- on the travel i can do some staycations out there since it's so close uh any further approvals have come through if you could give us an update on that we are uh, working on it we are on the on the drawing board but you asked me this question only 4 weeks ago when i was last on your channel <laughs> but okay. if, but but if there was an update i just thought i'll ask you again <laughs> okay uh, mr chatwal just before we let you go uh, if you're talking about the ability to hike average revenue rate uh, revenue revenue rates um for your uh, customers how much do you think it can be to the tune of maybe 10% 15% what are you estimating in terms of the demand that you're looking at going into f524 Oops, it is. Okay, right. so that will be a mystery. <laughs> we'll try and get in touch with Mr. Chatwal to find out how much more expensive a hotel room can get uh, from Indian hotels. But a very good company. I mean, very good performance this quarter. Absolutely, very good. I think thought I heard him say that it's going to fall by twenty percent. No, I'm fall. <laughs> You're just uh, desperate for zero to come on board as soon as possible. Yeah, it's uh, one of those uh, you know uh, great properties. I he's still with us. Uh, Puneet, you want to just quickly uh, answer that question from Ekta? How much higher are the ARRs going to go from here? Puneet, okay, I'll tell you what. I Puneet, we that's... spoke a month or so ago. I think in the next one month we should get you back, and uh, you know we'll try to get you to answer that question once holiday season totally picks up here in India as well. But it's been good speaking to you. Hopefully, we get you on a better line next time. Slip into a short break. 